Hello and welcome to Construction Wolf. Uh, today we're looking at some minifigures, aren't we, Wolf? Uh, so recently I've um, purchased these uh, Series 15 minifigures. Uh, so I've got a whole new set of them and um, they're from 2016, so eight years old now. Uh, so what led me to get these minifigures was um, we we're looking at the um, origin of the goat in the, you know, Lego. And we saw the Mill Village Raid was the first set that the goat came in and wasn't in it again until recently, as you've seen from the minifigures uh, released this year, Series 25. Uh, so I was looking in the range of animals in that set and we saw this uh, spotted pig, a Gloucester old spot pig. I thought that's quite cool, it might be uh, useful to get one of those for, you know, telling stories later down the line for sets and building. Uh, so I was looking online on that and uh, it was in a set called the Mill Village Raid, which is what the goat originated in. Um, and um, I had a look around and you can't really sort of get that set easily anymore. And then I was looking and this pig's not in many sets, but it was in uh, this Series 15 minifigures uh, that we're going to have a look at in the moment. So I looked at getting, you know, just that minifigure for that little animal. And um, when you're buying them sort of, uh, you know, these older retired minifigures secondhand, um, they can like range quite a lot in price. So to buy that minifigure was sort of over £10 and you got pay patron on top. And then um, there's a few other figures that are quite interesting as well, such as, you know, you see the shark suit guy. And then there's another minifigure that had a skunk cam on, which I thought was quite cool as well. So I thought we'd get a few of those. But when you're paying like sort of over sort of £10 each and then postage on top, it can all add up. So I was looking around and getting a complete set. Um, to get this new set, it was um, sort of just over between £50 and £60 and, you know, a bit of postage. So to get these sort of brand new for just over £3 each makes a lot more sense than just buying a couple of, um, you know, the minifigures. So that's what I've done. Uh, so that's some consumer advice there looking and uh, maybe if you want a few minifigures, um, if you want a few out of the set, you could maybe buy, you know, the whole set and um, get them cheaper that way. And then you've got all the others in the range as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these and uh, see what we've got here. I've until the minifigures off camera not to distress any uh, Lego collectors out there open these uh, eight-year-old minifigures. You can see we've got a very large range here that we're going to look at in detail in a moment. And I'm very happy to get these and uh, there's a, I quite like the skunk there. And that's the rest of the range. So we've been at Harder Work Company and that's all the minifigures built. Uh, so it's a very re impressive range of minifigures, I guess you can see. Uh, quite a uh, diverse uh, cast of characters, and 16 of them in this series, compared to, you know, normally nowadays you get 12. Uh, so I've got a lot of, sort of value for money getting these for a good price. I think the Shark Suit guy is definitely many people's favourite in this series. Uh, an interesting uh, contact with the fins as well, with the uh, arms instead. You can see on the back got this uh, big sort of uh, fin element and uh, the headpiece. Quite cool looking, isn't it? Even got the eye detail and the gills. And with their uh, headpiece off, you can see uh, this sort of cheeky expression. But also interesting, he's got a scared expression on the back. The laser backs are very bold and uh, cool concept in this series. You can see the big body armor, and then uh, interesting, they've got the sort of uh, lines for the eyes uh, there coming through the mask. And you'll see uh, the actual sword is uh, sort of dual molded with a white plastic going through the middle of this translucent blue. If you can see that through the handle going upwards, that's quite a cool effect. Interesting shape, and there's also got this uh, sort of uh, printed wig elements on the back too. So very interesting. Here's the Queen that's uh, very well equipped um, with both a cape and a collar uh, piece, you see. And uh, she comes with a big um, sort of bottom half of the dress piece, a nice print detail on the front. And then uh, you'll see she comes with a crown on top. And also uh, the headpiece is quite nice as well with a bun and uh, sort of a, a tail at the back there. Here's the form, which is also another interesting concept that we have in the series. Um, you'll see the sort of the hairpiece there that comes um, sort of dual molded with uh, ears there and also the horns coming through. And then you'll notice the legs are very uh, sort of unusual shape and uh, they've got print at the front to make them look like sort of hooves. Uh, so that's quite a nice uh, different thing to see there. Quite plain on the back. And then um, you notice he comes, if you see the stick, there's print detail on the front, which is a flute. The Kendo Warrior is one of the more basic minifigures this range with just a minimal print detail for the body arm on the front. But he does come uh, dual wielding these uh, katana swords here. And uh, the interesting mask, nothing really much on the back. With the mask off, you'll see he's got this uh, bandana around his head. I like the giant in this is, which is quite a flexible minifigure that would fit in a lot of places in your Lego cities. Comes armed with a nice uh, big mop here. See, he's got a nice detail in the front with um, his uh, name tag, which you can't quite read. And then also uh, some sort of dirty rag in his pocket. This is the Sky Warrior that comes uh, very much in gold. Uh, lots of gold uh, detail here. Even with the print detailing, you've got like a uh, sort of the golden dress in there. Even sort of like, it looks like golden six pack there. Uh, armed with a golden spear. And you'll see he's got his uh, helmet and wings on the back. 
This is the clumsy gun. I like the sense of humour with the um, bar pill on the front of the t-shirt. It looks a bit mean as well. Uh, comes uh, with uh, jewel crutches and then uh, got like a sort of bandage around his head and plaster on his uh, face. And also you notice the jewel model leg. Uh, it's uh, got a plaster cast and I like how they've put some uh, signatures on it. This is the jewel fee fresh from a heist and uh, you can see she's got a mindless guys around her eyes. And then um, you'll see she's got the grappling hook here ready to get in and out of the heist and uh, she's got a jewel there already that she's got away with. And spinning around back, we'll see she is quite enough in no print detail on the back, she just on the front. This is the main figure that caused me to get this series, really the farmer minifigure with the um, spotted pig. I uh, really like that pig, that's a nice little uh, sort of piece to have. And will fit in with, uh, you know, the set I've uh, been mentioning. You see around the back there, and that's the print detail on the back of the farmer. So yeah, very pleased to get this uh, minifigure and then the pig. This is the ballerina. I really like this minifigure. Uh, you see the hair piece there. Got like print detail long on for like little flowers. Uh, so that's a uh, quite nice little detail you don't normally see. Uh, she's got this sort of dress piece that goes between the body and the legs. Um, you'll see here there's some printed peeling on the sides as well. So yeah, quite a nice little minifigure this ballerina. This is one of the, my favourite minifigures in the series just because of the skunk really. See that little skunk piece there and got a nice long tail. And you've got the animal control officer here, uh, she's armed with a net and you can see it looks all official in a uniform there. And there's a bit of print detail on the sides but none on the back and I found a lot of these minifigures in this uh, series there's not as much print detailing as the you know, new minifigures where they've come along a bit so I guess this was you know like about what eight years ago now. But I still like the figures and there's a net. And there's an alternative face where I guess the skunk released the smell. This is the frightening light which is one of the more detailed minifigures in the series. Uh, see, he comes well equipped with the nice uh, bare printed shield. Then the mace actually is interesting, as on the stick, they've put a rubberized piece on there for the mace. Um, and then you can see he's come with a sort of the side armor around his shoulders, which is spiked. And then uh, the nice helmet, too. And you can see even on the back, there's some uh, reasonable uh, print detailing on there, too, with the belt and the jewel molded uh, legs, which are grey. Taking the helmet off and put the shield down so you can see his face. And then also, you'll see the print detailing better there uh, for his armor on his front. The tribal woman comes with a cute bundled up little baby figure uh, here. You see a little baby's uh, mini sort of figure face pair clip. It's not actually a true mini figure, it's sort of a moulded uh, solid piece. Uh, good print detailing uh, for the clothing and you'll see even side print detailing on the arms. Then she comes with, you know, like sort of a um, painted face and then uh, she's also got the um, sort of uh, feathers coming out of her hair. But nice and on the back you'll see there's this like clip here where I believe you can put the um, bundled up baby on the back so that she can carry around. The wrestling champion looks very intense with the expression on his face and it's all uh, painted as well. And you can see he's uh, won a big trophy and also he's got the championship uh, belt around his waist. And then the dual model legs are quite nice with the purple uh, legs and the sort of blueprint for the boots. You can see he's got some print detail in his arms and his back as well. And the last minifigure, but certainly not the least, is the Spaceman that comes in the set. And uh, with 2024 um, having a lot of space sets released, it's a uh, very uh, timely that we've got this minifigure here. So it's quite popular at the moment. You can see the flag with the classic uh, space uh, logo for Lego there. And it comes with a very well detailed, um, you know, astronaut suit at the front. You can see his uh, face poker through and you can actually put the visor down there like so. There you go, like a nice gold visor for the spaceman. You can see there's a lot of print detailing as well around the sides. Got his white air tanks. And also on this side, I like the uh, printed space uh, logo on there as well. So I think quite a few of these minifigures uh, will be quite useful for the newly announced Medieval Town Square. Um, that's coming out on the 1st of March. Uh, we're quite excited to get, aren't we? Uh, so, you know, as we talked about, like the pig are fitting quite nice because I think it is maybe lacking a few animals. It could, you know, do with a few more. And then it has got maybe a bit lighter minifigure, so, you know, things like the knight with the mace here, that's going to be a really good one uh, to go in there. Uh, the queen will fit perfectly in, she can get a cheese from the, the cheese maker. And, uh, yeah, we've got a you know, nice range here that we can use in other sets as well. Uh, so very happy to get these, and uh, let us know which ones you think are your favourites from this uh, range, because uh, it's so good, and, um, you know, for eight years old as well, um, I'm so happy to be able to get these and, you know, get them in new condition. And, uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a few minifigures from range, Check it out and uh, look if you can get the whole set um, cheaper just to, you know, save a bit of money. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and if you could like and subscribe that would be much appreciated. And uh, we hope to see you again next time. Bye.